Hello, my dear children. Welcome back to the SST classroom. Now, my dear children, today we are going to start new lesson. That is lesson number twenty one, the Constitution of India. Okay, children. So, are you ready? Now, my dear children, as you all know, just a school needs certain rules to function well. Our country also need certain rules. Which are called laws. Okay, dear children. Now, my dear children, why do we need laws? You have any idea? Now, as you all know, India is a home to the people of different language, religion, and culture. Right, children? So, students, in order to live together peacefully. A set of rules is required, right? To live a peaceful life, a set of rules is required. And my dear children, as you all know, after India gained independence on 15th August 1947, some rules and regulations were laid down for our country, right? So my dear children, every country. Has a set of rules according to which they govern the country. According to which the government govern the country. So, my dear children, the this set of rules which helps the government govern the country that is called constitution. Got it, my children? So, my dear children. Today we will learn the Constitution of India, right? So, my dear children, every as I said, every country have constitution. Every country has set a rules according to which they rules the country, right? According to which the government rules the country. Now, my dear children, the Constitution of India is the longest constitution in the world. So, students, who will have been have been framed the Constitution of India? Do you have any idea? Yes, my dear children, the Constitution of India have been framed by the drafting committee. Confused about drafting committee means a group of people who set up to frame the Constitution of India. Got it, my children? And in that. Doctor Bhimrao Ambedkar was the chair chairman in the drafting committee, and Doctor Rajendra Prasad was the president of the Constituent Assembly. Got it, my children? Now, my dear children, it took this committee took almost two years, eleven month, and eighteen days to frame the Constitution of. India to frame the Constitution of India, and you can see here in the picture. This is the book, which in which everything is written about the how to rule the country, which principles, which laws, and which rights are there for the people. Everything is written in this book. You can see here the book. The name is the Constitution of India. Okay, my children. I hope till here you have understood about the Constitution of India. Now, my dear children, the Constitution, the Indian Constitution, was came into force on twenty six January nineteen fifty. Got it? And here you can see this the preamble. You can see the first page, the introductory. You can see the introduction of the. Constitution of India. In that, everything is written about the about the India that India is a sovereign, socialist, democratic, and republic country. Got it, my children? I hope till here you have understood. Got it, my children? Now, my dear children, the Constitution of India, which defines the goals, right, and duties to be followed. By the citizen of India, got it? 
this it is a book it is a book of rules and regulation and it, it is a book it is a book of rules and regulation that have been followed by all the citizens the indian constitution begins with a preamble which was drafted by the constituent assembly you can see here the book the constitution book and the preamble is a introductory you can say the introduction of the constitution which was drafted by the constituent assembly okay dear children now my dear children in the next video we are going to learn about the preamble to our constitution i hope till here you have understood about the introduction of this lesson thank you and have a nice day